Hello everybody, I'm here Hello. with uh, Mr. Kogan Tube. We look pretty weird in our white shirts here, both yeah. on, we look like... This is the same one that I had on yesterday when I did my uh, contract video. We look like we're um, part of a cult or something. Anyway, uh, people might have seen our Century Egg video, so I put ramp it up a notch. Century Eggs wasn't too bad, was it? Pretty... No, they, they weren't. Wasn't as I wouldn't bad say as they were thought. really nice, but they weren't that bad. So anyway, I've got this. Oscar's Sir Stroming Fill here. I'm guessing that's fillets. This is um, fermented herring in a can. You can see the can is kind of like billowing out on the top and bottom. It's meant to do that. They put the, they put the fish in the can and then they leave a bit of room for air, I think, and it kind of like rots inside the can and then it expands with gas. It's going to be a, a tasty experience. Still in date though. I should point out that I don't really like fish either. Anything <laughs> other than tuna or cod. <laughs> if it's got bones in and stuff, I'm not a big fan. It, so It's still in date till uh, February 2016. And um, I don't know if the can... Also, sorry if the sound's crap. It's, we've got to film this outside because apparently it stinks so bad. Girlfriend won't let us film it inside. So the uh, can's quite interesting. I don't know how well it picks up. Are even recording? I've got to keep checking because I can't see the camera. There we go, yeah. Anyway, um, I also got this from the same guy. This is from Sven. Sven Svensson, apparently, you've gone to his YouTube name. So thanks. Um, thanks for sending these. Oh, these really? are, I don't know, some Swedish sweets. I don't know Hot how you. sweets? Yeah. Alright, oh, I saw that. I thought it was some sort of turkey, like jerky or something. I don't know how you pronounce it. It looks like t Turkish pepper. Have they got different, uh, different like heat strengths inside? Yeah. Or? Oh no, I think that these are the hottest. All right, I didn't know if it was like a bag where you get some that are hot, some that aren't. It's it's got, got there the got three paper hanging off. Here. Oh yeah. Also, yeah, this was the instruction sent with the. Uh, I don't know who that is. That's um him that sang "You're Beautiful." What's his name? Jamie Cullen. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for the picture of, of him. It says, open underwater or inside plastic bag to prevent splash hazards with a drawing. I can't see that. What the... is his name? I don't think it is Jamie Cullen, but it's someone like that. I know who you mean, though. Oh, it's going to annoy us. <laughs> so anyway, I've got a nice Asda bag for opening it up. This is going to be uh, fun time. Apparently they explode when I'm you open it over this, this side. Ah, I haven't got a fork or anything to get it out of. What to eat it with? Sure. Use some sticks. <laughs> sticks from the garden. <laughs> yeah, you 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 uh, look after that. I tell you what, I might try and find out who that bloke is. Right, I'm gonna have a quick search on the phone. Not that I have his music. Um, his famous song was You're Beautiful. Oh. I'm back. Alright, we've got some forks to eat it with. James Blunt. Uh, often referred to as James Cunt. <laughs> yeah. His name's a rhyming slang. Okay, so... Basically... I can't get this on camera. What I'm doing is wrapping it in the... Do you want us to point it down a bit? Or... Yeah, okay. Don't don't touch the tripod, it's broken. Oh. Just do with the camera. It's, it's more safe that way. Is that it? Thought so. Okay. It's a lot of reflection on the screen. Are we going to sniff in the bag? That, that's... Like, so. <laughs> I'm, I'm too scared to do that, to be honest. I think it's going off the camera there. Okay. Oh, it's squirting. It's a squirter. It is squirting. I'm gonna take a whiff. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Have a snip. No. I'm gonna wait until it's open. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I told you not to. It was a bad idea. <laughs> is it in tomorrow? Tomato juice or something? No. 
I think you, uh, you wrapped up, you I can smell it from here. It doesn't smell really, it smells a bit like barbecue tuna or something. Yeah, it smells, it does smell like tuna. Oh, it's all over your bench. <laughs> that smell's never going to come out. It smells like <laughs> mega, I'd mega strong fishy tuna. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. Well, the smell is making me feel a bit sick. Okay, you ready? I'll wait. Oh it's my totally gosh, it does smell really bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can see my girlfriend laughing at us from the uh, from the window. It doesn't there. smell good, that one, does it? I honestly don't. I don't. It isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm going to uh, open it further. I'm not a big fan of fishy smells, though, that's the thing. <laughs> uh, it's bubbling. Honestly, to me, it's not as bad as I thought. I think it's getting worse, so. Okay, the smell is getting worse. Okay. I only want a tiny bit of this. No, you got to eat the whole jar. What? <laughs> bits of skin and everything floating around. I'm hoping I'm getting this on camera. Oh. Ready? Actually, do you know what? It just looks like normal fish it's to me. Inside the can, it looks. Well, it looks all right, but it. If you like fish, but are they the bones on it? That's the fin that is. No, but on this. The flies, flies love it. Flies are going crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at your face. It's, not, I, I, it's way less worse than that. Apparently, the way you well, eat I, it. I think you eat a wider range of stuff than me, though. That's it. I don't know. Apparently, the traditional way to have it. Is um, with some sort of Swedish bread with potatoes and creme fraiche and chives. It's a lot of flies. flies. There are absolutely millions of flies buzzing around. Okay. I'll have a tiny bit. <laughs> it's making us feel sick just smelling it though. It's really salty and uh, kind of vinegary almost. Are there any bones in it, Tom? No. It, it does smell like you've just found a tin in a cupboard when you've moved house. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like, like an old person's been living there for 40 years, left this in the cupboard, then you found it. It's like anchovies or something, it's just it it's has really the, salty. I know the bones are sticking out of it, though. I hate that. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. Um, no, it's not for me. <laughs> it's, it's really like salty and a bit tangy, like. It's got vinegar on it or something. It's like a like a vinegar. I think apple. it just tastes old. Oh, the, the taste is lingering in my mouth. You know, it's not that good when there's like 500 flies buzzing around it. Yeah, there is a there is a crazy amount of flies suddenly being attracted to this. They're all over the camera and everything. It's it's like bubbling in the can as well. That's something. Oh yeah, it is. Right, let's try and get it on camera a bit better. Cause well done. I'm gonna un unattach the camera and just film it. I think that's that's the first thing that I've had that I've just point blank flat out. God. Sorry for this. I think it's it's an acquired taste. The century eggs I could eat. I'm trying to unattach my camera from this crappy tripod. The taste on this is just so strong. See, all right. You can see it's bubbling away. Yeah, it's been released from the can, and the, the gases are escaping. I mean, I don't know if the camera's picking up the flies, but they are going crazy. They're, they're, actually just... they're actually landing on it, though. They're just like buzzing around. <laughs> they're on the face. I actually don't think it's that bad. 
Like I could, I couldn't sit here and eat it. But yeah, do you like anchovies though? Yeah. See, I don't like anchovies or like anchovies, capers, things like that. It's it's a bit like that, really. I don't like anchovies or sardines and stuff like that. Hmm. It may just taste salty and uh, like a bit vinegary or something. Reminds me of roll mops. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say yeah, it's them. like a, it's like a step up from roll mop heron, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I'll sit there and eat the can, but uh The smell is pretty offensive though. I just think it smells like strong tuna. I know, but you wouldn't want it in your house, would you? No. But from what I'd heard it described was like the worst smell in the world and like it would just stink out like I don't yeah, I don't know if it's the worst smell in the world, but it's not it's not something you smell and you think, yeah, that's gonna be really nice that. I wanna get Alex out and see what she thinks. Oh. Alex! Pardon me. Come and smell this, see what you think. I can smell it from here. Can you? Sniff the fish, Alex. I can smell it from here, it's horrible. Sniff the fish, sniff the fish, sniff the fish. I don't give him to pay pressure. Let's come and have a look, there's flies all over. I can see it from here, I can smell it from here, it's disgusting. So how far is that? Probably six metres or something. Seven metres, I don't know. It's quite a way, quite a way. I'm going to have another bit. I don't think it's too bad. Yeah, I think I'll prefer the hot sweets to... Uh, oh yeah, we got to try them as well. Okay, right. I'm going to have another bit because I don't want to like, waste it. I'll have another go, maybe it was just the initial shock. A smaller bit, maybe. No, I'm completely fine with the taste of that. It, it does stink though. Dirty old knickers or something. It's not so much a taste, I don't know what it was. Probably just the thought of it, you know. What do you think? It's not too bad. But yeah. That was it, the tiniest bit I could get. Okay. So we'll have these nice sweets to wash our mouths out with. I think it's the thought, the fact that it's fish, coupled with the smell. Flies are just going crazy about it though. Yep. Fly heaven. Okay, let's get. There we go. So we're going to try these. Yeah, get these open. So wash away the taste of the Seerstrom in. Don't know how to pronounce it. What's that, Tom? Because if. Oh, I don't know if you can see the flies on the camera, but there must be about 10 flies like an, around. An absolute swarm of them. Look, if I hold this up towards me white top, you might see the flies. <laughs> Fucking hell. That stinks, man. Okay, I'll, I'll move it. I'll move it far away. So where was, where was this sent from? From Sweden. Imagine if that exploded in the in the Royal Mail van or something. Yeah. Okay, so these are something unpronounceable. Flies are still buzzing around because it's a bit on the table. <laughs> There's a fly on the sweet. Alright, here you go. Let's try these. So these are all the same strength, they're not like. No, so yeah, I think they're all the strong. Are they coated? It looks like they're coated in chili. It might be salt. Ah. I've got a grandma nice. in Denmark. Nice, nice. Yeah. Licorice Yeah, I love licorice, so that's, that's really nice. Alright. I've got a, a grandma in Denmark, and when I went over there as a kid, a lot of the licorice sweets in there were salty. Mm -hmm. So I was expecting that. Yeah, I like them. I'm thinking there's some sweets that are similar over here. I don't know what. I don't know. I've, I've had salt licorice before from a shop. I don't know if this is the way it always is. But those tiny little diamonds looked a bit like Fisherman's Friends. Oh, uh, imps it was, or something, what they called? Little imps? No, it was just a bag that said salt licorice on it. It was like uh, it had been bagged specially at this sweet shop. I think it was in Middlesbrough. And that, it tasted like them. Is yours hot yet? No. It's not. It's not hot. It's just too hot to handle on the back. Yeah. I think there's a hole going straight through mine, and I'm, there's something that's coming out of it. Yeah, but that's not hot. But it just tastes like salt. 
It says pepper candies, sugar, glucose syrup, ammonium, chloride, licorice extract, salt, <coughs> flavourings. It doesn't say anything about pepper on the ingredients. Unless it unless it's flavouring. They're really nice actually. Yeah. They're good. I didn't mind the search draw me neither. I thought it was okay. Maybe it's just the, the licorice taste that the mean is hot. It's got a little bit of a hotness, like not like burning, but you know, it just tastes like a strong licorice or something. I yeah, think. because we got them um, like fireball sweets as well. Yeah, they're, like they're quite hot. Well, they were when I was a kid, anyway. I'm gonna bite to see if there's anything inside, or it could be here forever. There's a little bit of a peppery taste, but mm. they're not like super hot sweets. Nah. But they are nice. Yeah, yeah, they're really nice. Well, found something you like. Yeah. I think we should leave that um, kind of search room until your wife gets here <laughs> and uh, see what she thinks of it. Yeah, she'll love it. <laughs> mm. sure. She likes sardines. There's absolutely like tons of flies crawling all over it now. Get the, get oh, the camera and. Get it in the tin of flies. I don't think it. I don't know how I'm long. I've one of those sweets. Mm. I don't know how long it'd be safe to eat that stuff for because I reckon by now flies will have laid their eggs in it. Yeah. Or some done something weird to it, which will make it inedible. So like on film the fly where he breaks that man's arm. Does this be on his arm or not? Yeah. Or, yeah. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching and um, thanks to Sven for sending the... Uh... Yeah, if you see those, have a try because they're really nice. Yeah. But forget about the fish. <laughs> see you everybody.